Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm going to be reviewing what is possibly one of the best three inch cordless polishers on the market right now. It is from Merca. It's their three inch polisher. And we're gonna go over all the features. We're gonna talk about, of course, the ergonomics, uh, the speeds, the features that you can have, the build quality. The price is eye-watering, so is it worth the money that you're investing into this tool? Because this should last for years. Uh, Merca, by the way, is a company from Finland, and they produce, they're known for their uh, sanders, uh, but this cordless polisher works wonders. And of course, I'm going to also be comparing, because I know you guys will be curious, uh, to other very, very good ones on the market. This is the Rupaz. HLR75, so with their hybrid battery technology, and the other very popular one from Flex, this is the PXE80. This is their mini, they're all three inch heads on these, so you can have three inch backing plates uh, for some smaller intricate work, right? B pillars, A pillars, uh, you wanna do some grills, uh, some mirrors, uh, intricate parts of the car like bumpers, things like that. So this is another tool to have on your arsenal, uh, in your detailing arsenal, should I say. Uh, by the way, quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, Merca didn't even send me this polisher. Uh, I got mine from Obsessed Garage, uh, and by the way, I give credit where credit is due. It's thanks to my buddy Matt from Obsessed Garage. He's been testing this you know how finicky if you guys have been following this his channel uh, how demanding he is and if stuff doesn't uh, make the cut for him he just punts it in the garbage and this is currently his favorite all-around polisher regardless of which size this is the one he currently prefers uh, and I've been testing this and I can concur that there's a lot of good things about it by the way I'll leave links to all the uh, tools and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out so all you have to do is sit back relax and enjoy the show so again, Merca, a brand from Finland. This is the box. It's the uh, AROPB, so the Angle Random Orbital Polisher. Uh, this one comes with a 10.8 volt lithium ion battery. It comes with two of them actually in the package. This is the second one. Uh, in this kit, they have the five amp hour battery. So you're gonna have a lot more uh, length of um, duration. And I'm gonna talk about the run times that I get in real world under load, by the way. So this is their five amp hour battery. So you can also get uh, available again in the description below the 2.5 amp hour battery. So a more compact, it's more uh, like on the size of this so you don't get that wider base. So if you want an even lighter unit, you can replace the battery, which by the way is super simple. This is how you remove the battery. You put it back in and uh, there you go. So very compact unit, very, very high build quality. As you can hopefully tell, there's the number 12 here up top because let's go over the specs. This is a, this is a 12 millimeter orbit. So this is the, uh, the throw of the polisher itself. Comes with a one year warranty. It has seven speeds, so it goes from 4,000 RPM all the way up to 7,000 RPM. Uh, the pad diameter could you put on this, by the way, the backing plate is a three inch, and by the way, it comes with a wrench inside because you can replace this if something were to happen. It has the traditional hook and loop. The weight with battery is only two pounds or 0.89 kilos, and this is with the uh, 5 amp hour battery, so it's even lighter if you put the 2.5, if you purchase that separately, but it works amazingly well. Now, the cool features of this is not only is it powerful, this is the most powerful out of all these tools by far. It's actually too powerful. You can blow pads out if you go to speed seven or six, that's way too high. So uh, I set mine to speed five for high speeds, and of course, when you're applying, uh, uh, you're applying your polish or you're spreading it, you're gonna start at a low speed, speed one or two, and ramp up as needed. You uh, control the speeds with this plus or minus and it is the quietest of the bunch you can have a conversation when you're using this you don't even need ear protection it is absolutely amazing and even though rupes are known to build tools and this is super high quality right very low vibration ergonomics are super important over at rupes because this this is a professional company that makes professional detailing tools and polishers well this is even better and smoother to use believe it or not the vibration emission value what they call the VEV is only 4.3 meters uh, per, per S squared or M slash S squared, whatever value that is. That tells you how smooth it is. It basically won't bother your hands even after hours and hours of polishing. You can polish for 10 hours in a row. I don't know how you'd use a three inch polisher for 10 hours in a row. You'd go for the bigger ones for bigger surfaces. Uh, but that goes to show you just how smooth of an operator this is. You know the song by Sade, right? Smooth operator. Well, this is definitely the smoothest one I've ever tested and the lowest noise as well. I'm gonna put 
put these on full tilt so you can hear the differences. But again, this one is not only the smoothest to use, but I mean this trigger. Oh my God. When you start it, let me show you. So look, can you hear that? You hear nothing. Look how smooth that is. So that's speed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So hear that? This is the highest speed. You would never use that. I would back that down, six, five. So this is the speed that I use. It's close to 5,000 RPM. Um, so yeah, it just ramps up smoothly and that is it. There's little to no vibration. Now in comparison, let me show you the other two tools so you have an idea. So the Rupez here has up to five speeds that you can select. So let me put it on the highest speed so you can hear the noise. So definitely more vibration out of the body when you have it in your hand. The ergonomics though are very, very good to hold, but a lot more vibration, although this is a very good tool. We're nitpicking here, but more vibration compared to the Merca, and you're also getting that higher pitched noise. So let me put that once again. So the Merca at full tilt. And then the Rupes at full tilt. So I think you can tell the difference, right? Now, let me show you the uh, PXE80 by Flex. So another fantastic tool. Uh, by the way, both the Rupez and the Flex have 2.5 amp hour batteries. So this is an 18 volt on the uh, Rupez. And on the Flex, you get a 12 volt, 2.5 amp hour battery lithium ion. So the uh, Flex is also lightweight. So weight is not an issue. Uh, this is more compact though, if you compare it to the Rupez but the best ergonomics of all of them is definitely the Merca by a long shot. Um, so let's hear this one at full tilt. This one here has four speeds that you can control. So turn the trigger. Let's put it at full speed. So it is quieter compared to the Rupez, but let's hear the Merca now. And then the flex at full speed. So this one's still pretty quiet, although you can feel a bit more of that mechanical kind of vibration. Uh, it doesn't vibrate as much uh, as the Rupez, but the ergonomics are maybe not as good as the Rupez. However, a good thing that's going for this one is the quick release for this here. So you can remove that and attach some accessories uh, like their 140 kit extension to have this small polishing head to go behind the handles. I really, really like that. So it's basically a flexible wand or an extension cord. How, how should I call it? Basically uh, a long extension and it allows you to go behind those door handles or very intricate areas like honeycomb grills and all that kind of stuff. And the attachment is super easy. Pull the tab put it back and there you go. You can switch your, your accessories. So that's one good thing going for it. Uh, the Flex, what about the price? So I, I said it was eye-watering for the Merca, right? So the uh, Flex is the uh, 420 USD on average at the moment of this recording. I'm recording this in November, 2023 and uh, 510 Canadian dollars. And for the Rupes HLR 75 in USD, we're looking at roughly 406 US dollars for this one uh, and 555 Canadian dollars. So a bit more expensive uh, here in Canada. And for the Merca, we're talking probably more than double the price. So that's the only, one of the only caveats for this one. So the uh, Merca three inch dual action polisher comes in at 876 USD or 1228 Canadian dollars. So yes, it is very expensive. Um, however, the build quality, when you have it in your hands, when you have the ergonomics, look how nicely this fits and I have big hands. This is a perfect, perfect fit. Uh, the trigger pull is very easy. It's easily accessible. You can change the batteries in a simple way. So you pinch off, you put it back in and you're good to go. The uh, lightweight, this is only two pounds once again, or 0.89 kilos with the battery. And you can get the smaller 2.5 amp hour battery. Uh, if you prefer that, it's gonna give you even lighter weight and it's gonna be even more compact. You're not gonna get these edges that are protruding, uh, but this, I really, really like the ergonomics. Smoothness of operation, no, no other of these two compare. This has little to no vibration. You can be using this for hours and hours. And I know that especially for professional detailers, I don't think the DIYer that polishes once a year is going to buy this. Uh, it's a bit too expensive, but if you're a professional, you polish cars often, 
maybe on a daily basis. You need tools that have good ergonomics, of course, but you also need some with very low vibration. And this is the lowest of any polisher I have in my entire rack, right? Uh, if I look at my polishing rack over there, I have a Milwaukee cordless polisher. I have a f I have two flex uh, cordless polishers. One is a random orbit, the other is a forced rotation. I have the Flex 3401, uh, which is a direct drive um, cord corded polisher. I have the Udos polisher from uh, Lake Country. I have the Rupes LHR 15 Mark III. I have the Hybrid uh, Nano from Rupes as well. You saw the Rupes HLR 75, uh, the Flex. I have just so many polishers. And this is by far the smoothest of them all. I'm looking forward to testing uh, the uh, new Rupes HLR 15 and 21 cordless polishers. Those will be revealed early 2024. I heard through the grapevine delivery, probably end of February at this point. Uh, so we'll see, but those are the bigger polishers, right? Five inch backing plates, six inch backing plates. But as far as mini polishers go for three inch backing plates, uh, this is the smoothest. So if you value quality, if you value performance, if you value the lightweight, the very low vibration and the low noise this generates, I don't think you can look any further. This will last a lifetime and it is worth every penny. It is very expensive. Does that make these two others obsolete? Absolutely not, bang for buck. These are the two best small polishers that you can get in my opinion because you're getting a lot of quality for money, right? Yes, there are less expensive cordless three inch mini polishers out there, but they're often made overseas, uh, much, much cheaper quality. Uh, so you get what you pay for. I understand not everybody has a bigger budget. It's fine if you're just starting out, you wanna get a tool that gets you through it. But if you don't wanna spend money per repurchasing tools as you go, you want one that will last a lifetime, uh, really from Finland, this Merca brand, I'm heavily, heavily impressed. And I will give it to Matt from Obsessed Garage, you are right. Uh, on every point about this, it is so, so fun to use. I know you guys are dying to see the demo. We're gonna jump into that in just a few seconds. Um, but let's talk about the charge times. So for the Merca, of course, with the five amp hour battery, uh, in real world conditions, I get anywhere 45 to 50 minutes of charge time. Uh, that's for the 2.5 amp hour battery. For the five amp hour battery, you're looking at 85 minutes, maybe 90 minutes sometimes, but it's still very, very good. Uh, for the Flex, PXE80, 40 minute charge time. Don't forget this has a 2.5 amp hour battery. And for the Rupes HLR75, you're getting a 30 minute charge time. So this is the one that charges the quickest, but it's a 2.5 amp hour battery. Now, battery size is one thing, but what is the actual performance? So I know a lot of companies like to rate it uh, with no load, but that makes no sense because when you're using these in real world, well, you're using them under load, right? They're gonna have a pad, you're gonna be applying very light pressure. It should be the machine that does the work, not you, but still you're applying a, a bit of pressure. There is that friction on the surface. And so I prefer to do the actual real world uh, conditions and measure run times under load. And I was very, very happy to see that with the Merca, uh, with the five amp hour battery on uh, on uh, the normal speed setting that I use, which is speed setting five, I get anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes of operating time. You get two batteries, uh, by the way, in the kit, as I showed you, and you get this wonderful little charger. So very compact, very thin, uh, it works super well. And you get, again, the uh, wrench inside there if you wanna switch over the backing plate, because you can replace this, it's serviceable, by the way. Uh, so yeah, 30 to 35 minutes of runtime. With the Flex, I get anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes. So that's where it shows that you have the 2.5 amp hour battery. And with the Rupes in real world conditions, I get anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes. So this gives you the longest work time under load by a few minutes, but still it shouldn't be an issue because you can cycle through your batteries. And I don't think I've ever polished with a three inch for more than 20 minutes at a time. Like you're gonna take a break at one point and uh, even if it's after half an hour, cause this can go 30 to 35 minutes, you just switch out the batteries and uh, again, you're good to go. Uh, the cool thing about the Merca is you have these indicator lights here in the front. So they tell you when it's green, the charge is okay. So you're fully charged. When it's flashing green, the charge is below 75%. When it's flashing, uh, alternating between green and red, that means uh, you have a charge below 50%. Flashing red means you have a charge under 25%, and if it's uh, solid red, you have too low of a voltage and the polisher is not operable. Another cool thing about this, by the way, should you wanna use the features, you can connect it through Bluetooth and you get the Merca app on your phone. So if I load the Merca app here, so this is the uh, Merca app and you can control a few things 
like the settings, for example, you can have it either at a fixed speed if you never want to go over, let's say, 5,000 RPM, which is speed number five, which I never recommend that you go over that because you'll be blowing through pads. It's way too powerful. There's so much torque on that machine. I'm telling you, don't use speed six or seven. You're going to have the pads fly off. You're going to rip through pads like crazy. You don't need that. That's one of the rare times that we say a cordless tool has too much power. So good job on that. All right, guys, so for the demo, we'll be restoring these uh, gloss black B-pillars, also known as piano black. Uh, we all know how they easily show swirls, scratches, and light oxidation. It seems that you just breathe on them and they scratch up, right? So uh, mini polishers like these guys, 3-inch polisher from Merca, they work super well to do these kind of uh, jobs. So you can use them for bumpers, intricate areas, B-pillars, A-pillars, so on and so forth. And uh, we're going to look at the level of defects currently on there so let's have a look hopefully you can tell on camera there's some swirls some scratches some uh, mineral deposits there a bit of water spawning this vehicle is daily driven and uh, often has to stay outside in parking lots so on and so forth so yeah not the worst i've ever seen but uh, we need to do regular maintenance now this is not a pain correction tutorial, so we're not aiming for perfection on these. I want to keep enough material because we're going to redo them pretty often. They're super, super soft uh, gloss black trim, so you want to be uh, be, uh, be careful of that. So I'm going to be using the uh, Rupes Uno Advanced. This is a one-step, meaning it's a light polish that also contains a bit of ceramic protection in it. So in one step, you're correcting and you're protecting. I usually get five to six months out of this. Uh, and yeah, some just some light uh, ceramic protection in there. I have a full tutorial, by the way, if you want to see more in depth how to restore these gloss black uh, trim pillars, go see on my channel. Uh, so in this case, you got to make sure to shake the product well to homogenize what's in there because it tends to separate uh, in the bottle. Always follow the instructions. So we're going to apply a few pea-sized drops onto our Rupes yellow foam pad, which is a polishing pad. Let me set that down. So we're going to lightly dab that on there. Then on low speed, we're going to spread the polish and we're going to increase the speed to speed 5 to actually polish the trim and do the job. It is so quiet and there's so little vibration on here. It is nuts. So now let's increase the speed. 2, 3, 4, 5. So a few light passes up and down, left to right. Let the machine do its thing. Don't apply too much pressure. And a pretty good stroke at a 12 millimeter orbit. So you're covering decent ground, especially on these small machines like that. This should have done the trick again we're not aiming for perfection but uh, this machine is awesome there's so much torque in it it never loses power so let's gently wipe that off after that we're going to let it cure for a few hours but already i think you can tell on camera it's rare that people use ins inspection lights right so from about a foot of a distance this is just about as perfect as you want it it feels super slick to the touch thanks to the protection that's on there and let's have a look and we significantly improved the appearance so if you guys remember around here there was tons and tons of those mineral deposits and those deeper swirls and scratches look at that that looks pretty good right for just one or two minutes of very light polishing we're not doing much correction here again there are some fillers in there is going to hide, help to hide a bit of the imperfections. We're not cutting a lot because this is super soft material. And you don't have a lot of it. And as we're polishing more often than the paintwork, you want to preserve as much material. So yeah, look at that. Looks nice. Look glossy. It's very slick and uh, the polisher never stalled. Super smooth, zero vibration and uh, very, very low, low noise level at only 60 dB uh, SPL level. So uh, yeah, great job. Fantastic tool. All right, guys, so you saw the demo. Uh, once again, the 
amount, the least amount or the less amount of vibration of any polisher that I have tested, especially in the mini three inch polishers. It is super lightweight, it's compact, the ergonomics are fantastic, the power is there, the battery is absolutely amazing. You can get the smaller one, once again, the 2.5 amp hour. And uh, yeah, is this the best three inch polisher I ever tested? Uh, absolutely, great job by Merca from Finland. Kudos to you guys for this great innovation. Uh, are there downsides? Well, yes, like anything, it has all the positives, 12 millimeter throw, by the way, but the downsides are it is super expensive. So coming in at, again, 876 US dollars or $1,228 Canadian, roughly at the time of this video. Uh, it's not made for everyone as far as budget is concerned. Uh, it does have a one-year warranty though, so it's still pretty good. I would have liked to see something like a three or five-year on a tool this expensive, but I mean, this should last a lifetime. It's built like a tank. Even if you drop it, don't worry. This will not break. It, it's as heavy duty as it gets. Uh, and again, you get all these positive things with it. Uh, another thing that I would have liked that they would have done, there's no locking trigger. So it's only pull, and release, and that is it. So smoothness of operation, very, very no low noise level. It's the quietest of all the polishers, the mini polishers especially. If you get into the bigger ones, obviously they generate more noise, but if we're comparing apples to apples with other uh, these, three, uh, these two other polishers, this is the quietest, the smoothest in all of its operation. So for those who polish a lot, you're gonna feel this because you're not getting that vibration that could be very damage, uh, damaging to your, uh, to your body over time. So don't forget, vibration is not very good. If I look at guys who work in the construction zone uh, who are using those jackhammers all day long, that repetitive movement and that repetitive vibration can lead to some health issues. So this is not something that will do that. You don't even need ear protection when you're using this. You can have a conversation uh, while you're polishing with this tool and it is absolutely amazing. And of course, it does the job because it has actually way too much power. Again, take care. Do not go over speeds five when you're polish polishing with this. Speeds six and seven shouldn't be used because it, it, it's too powerful. You can connect it through Bluetooth. It comes with everything you need. Again, the charger, two five amp hour batteries. You can get the 2.5 amp hour if you want a lighter weight and more compact unit. And uh, yeah, again, I'll leave the links to all this stuff in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Thumbs up to Merca. Yes, it is the best current three inch polisher on the market by far. Nothing comes close to us, uh, comes close to it as far as performance, but you are paying a hefty price. Does this make these two guys, the Flex PXE80 or the uh, Rupes HLR75 uh, cordless hybrid nano polisher uh, obsolete? Absolutely not. These are still amazing. I still have them in my arsenal. Uh, they're still gonna stay in the Pandy Organizer arsenal. Absolutely nothing wrong with these, but when you try the Merca, that's when you know, gosh, you can't go back. So um, yeah, if you try it, although it's an water uh, eye-watering price point, you're going to absolutely fall in love with it and you're going to love it. If you guys, by the way, did try or do have this machine, give me your feedback. I'm always curious. Are you getting that same results, uh, same low vibration, same low noise, crazy torque and power performance out of this? Drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always curious to have your feedback. If you guys have these, do you like them? Uh, what do you like about them? What do you not like about them? Again, let's have a conversation. It's always good to have uh, viewer feedback. So I hope you enjoyed this, by the way. The SPL or noise level for the Merca is only 60 dB for those who are wondering what the stats were. So uh, just so you know. Again, links in the description to all this cool stuff. Share the video with friends or family who might benefit from this information and who want to geek out about car detailing. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.